Hey everyone, so it's winter time in the Northeast and I acquired me another project. I picked this baby up, gonna do some traveling in it. Uh, it's been sitting outside for about 10 years. It's a 1994 G20 uh, conversion van. And this actually is a, I haven't seen one around here like this. This is a uh, Midway uh, coach conversion van. Um, and uh, it's got some, how do you say, uh, you know, it comes with the opera lights um, and the high top. Uh, of course, uh, you know, typically those fade and the clear coat peels, but I'm going to fix that up. Uh, it's got the spare tire. I put new tires on it. I got the spare tire cover over here. Uh, it's got uh, the privacy blinds inside. Uh, the 350 with the 4L60E. It's a 1994 and uh this particular van is uh see i know it's dark in here let's see if we can get some light in here let me grab a light so now we got a light in here and um all the trim on here has a, a blue tint the wood trim it's not like the traditional oak but uh it looks really good and i was very uh drawn to this um interior i do like the blue uh, you know, back in the 90s, red and blue was a, a big thing. Um, in the back there, I there were original six and a half inch speakers. I put six by nines in there and you got uh, two, I, I think they're six and a half inch in the ceiling for the TV um, and the uh, audio system that's in the back. I ended up putting in a, um, well, I replaced the front speakers because one was blown. And I put in this uh, nine inch Pioneer head unit. That's a single din floating unit. It's it's pretty cool. Um, I had to put a new windshield in it. And uh, this particular van, it has 101,000 original miles on it. Um, and it purrs like a kitten. So I did all the basic maintenance on it. I changed the rear end fluid. I changed the transmission fluid and filter. Um, I changed the oil, spark plugs. I added this. Uh, it didn't come with the pouch, but this is an Explorer pouch for the dash uh, just to keep some uh, papers in there or whatnot. Um, so, yeah, so Pioneer 4x6, three, uh, three ways in the front I put in to go with the head unit. Uh, with You know, and that includes Apple CarPlay, and I got the four-way 6x9s in the back. Uh, it's got rear heat and AC in it. And uh, the AC doesn't work, so I'll uh, I'll have to look at that. I had to replace the latch on the driver's side door. Um, it wasn't staying shut, and I also replaced the power window motor because that one wasn't working, but everything else appears to be working in it. Uh, the paint's pretty good. Uh, there is one rust spot in the, the bottom here. That's not a big deal. You could buy the panels for these, and... Uh, if I decide to fix that, you know, at some point I will. Um, but yeah, this was a good good van that I found that had the full interior. It has the ladder on the back. Um, it has the interior. Let me get these pillows out of the way. You know, the bed comes down. And it has the extension right here. And uh, I, I put in a 24-inch um, uh, LCD TV up there in place where the other one used to be uh, it was just a crt i couldn't get it to work but um the flat panel is nicer so um yeah it's got the pop-up windows it's got the uh nice privacy shades in the back it doesn't have curtains in the back but it has privacy shades um and they're like a blue color that matches the rest of the interior um and then we have the uh the curtains in the in the back and on the side door all the windows pop out so i can't wait to take this thing for a test drive as soon as the snow clears uh got my corvette here with a lot of dust on it that car is actually black i got the camaro up top just sitting there resting for the winter i gotta take the torque tube out of the camaro and uh take a look at the bushings on that but um yeah, so this van uh, with the with the high top, uh, my garage door is is uh, they're eight foot doors, but um, this van measures in about ninety one inches, I think. I actually had to take about two inches of air out of the tires to get this to clear the door to get it in here. 
Um, I'm gonna repaint the, um, the, the spare tire holder. And uh, there was a little bit of damage to the back here that I have, uh, uh, I, I filled and I, I put some primer on it temporarily, but I gotta get some paint to match this so I could blend that all in and re-clear the back. And um, yeah, so a little bit of touch-ups on the roof. Can't wait for spring to come, but uh, that's my van. That's the new project.